Layouts are a quick way to add some useful formatting to your Notion pages inside of Flotion. So a quick introduction to layouts. Any page that you have, have the Flotion editor uh, synced and ready to go on, you will find the layouts tab as this green toggle list. To access your layout options, you can simply hit the toggle and you can select from four options currently, three column layout, two column layout, some key pillars and a tabs layout. For this video, we're going to use a simple two column layout and I'm gonna show you how you can create a two column setup inside of your Flotion page and you can even create columns within columns. So step number one will be to generate the two column setup. This will automatically take you to a two column page. We don't actually need this. So I'm going to either hit back from this top menu or I'm going to navigate to our new client portal page. And from here, I'm going to head back to this meetings page, which is where I want to add my two columns. Now to do so, I'm going to drag this simple two column item which I've just created to the top of this new page. And in order to get these two columns to appear, I'm going to right click. I'm going to turn this block into a text block. This is going to show me everything within that two column page that we've just created. And if I want the formatting to finalize, I will triple click, select all of these, or I can of course drag and select, not like that, but I can drag and select all of this text backspace and then one more backspace and we have our two column setup. Now, if you don't want to enter your texts inside of these call out blocks, you can of course take this text, drag it below and you will still retain your two column setup, even though this is inside of a, it's already inside of a two column setup with your menu on the side. So now we have our two columns here. We can adjust as always the width of each column and we can add whatever components we like inside of these columns. If I want to drag a meetings component into this left hand column, I can quickly generate a new meetings component. And I just need to make sure that this half of the column setup is highlighted so that I know I'm dropping it in the right place. And let's say I wanted to create a, another copy of this meetings calendar, but I wanted to just show the archived view of my meetings so I could have the archive on the right and the live calendar on the left. I can achieve that quite quickly by using this two column layout setup. Other layouts include the three column setup, which is exactly the same process. Key pillars is a preset list, uh, preset format of some key pillars that can use, be used for your strategy. They can be reminders. They can be your values. And that's as simple as generating the key pillars call out block and dragging it to wherever you want it to appear. Tabs is another process, which we will cover in a video coming soon.